Hi and welcome to Dive Extras. Um, so this is presentation six on the new X-ray light, and I thought I would do a little, um, I'll give you a little insight into the optic that we've used on the new X-ray. So this is what the optic looks like removed from the light. This is a prototype optic in that um, it's made using aluminum prototype tools, so it's not perfect. Uh, and you, some of you might, guys might see that at DEMA, um, beam patterns, um, not perfect, but it does allow us to move forward with the production of the light um, and verify things before um, the production tooling is sort of ordered and everything. But anyway, hopefully shortly after DEMA we will have the production optics, which the mold is almost finished right now. So this type of optic might be fairly familiar to some of you who are used to dealing with LEDs. Um, it's commonly referred to as a TIR optic. And if I was to saw this um, optic in half, um, this is what it would look like. It's got a central section. Or well, let me explain this. The the orange guy is the optic sawn in half. This line would be a screen or the bottom of the um, water, whatever you want to ref sort of use as. And then this is the LED right here. Um, so two main components. It's got sort of center section that looks like a couple of lenses and that's basically how it works. And it's got an outside section that looks like a reflector, albeit that there is no um, reflective material on the optic. So the way it works is that light comes out um, of the LED and through the center section it comes out um, goes through those lenses and gets focused um, on the screen over here. Light that comes out of the side of the optic goes out, bounces off this reflector section and also gets focused on the screen. Um, now it gets reflected off this outer surface because it hits it at a fairly shallow angle and as long as that angle isn't too steep then um, it gets completely reflected within the plastic. And that's where the name TIR comes from, Total Internal Reflectance. So that's basically how it works. Um, it's a secondary optic and that there's a little dome on the LED. You can see it there. That would be the um, primary optic and this is the secondary optic. So I'm sure a lot of you have been wondering why since we had this optic specially made for the x-ray um, and engineered by a bunch of optical engineers that why didn't we go for um, a sort of really you know laser type technical um, light. Um, so I'm going to explain that a little bit so you get a little bit more background. Um, you can imagine if we had the same optic and the LED was actually just um, infinitely small like a little pinhead so it was basically a point light source it would be pretty easy to figure out all the angles so that all the light would get focused on one tiny little spot over here however reality is not quite like that um, our LED is actually um, it's quite large so this optic has to light cope with light coming from this side of it and getting focused and it has to cope with light that comes from this side of it and also get focused over here now you know dealing with all of those um, essentially different point sources within that optic or that large air emitter area means that this lens has to be a compromise and what we decided was that we wanted to go for most of the light in a two foot spot at 10 feet and the optic was designed um, to do that and one of the big variables that we had to play with is the size of the optic you can imagine if we made this optic a lot bigger we would get closer to this than this and you see that um, in a lot of high powered lights um, and you can see, actually see that on the um, the HIDs they're all sort of using a three four inch um, reflector this makes it easier to focus the light from a large emitter into a really tight spot so when we designed this we played with all the variables based on that we wanted a two foot spot and this is the optic that we came up with um, which I think is a nice compromise um, it's not a laser type beam but it's a, a very usable beam um, a really nice beam and we can have a light head which looks like this um, as opposed to this
So, thank you very much, and that's just a little insight into the X-ray optic.